All right, thank you everyone for coming today. So today we're going to start with prayer requests. Or is there anyone who has prayer requests today? Anyone? You don't have prayer requests today? A request? Yeah, something you want in your life for us to prefer. Or if you don't want to share it, you can just say unspoken. Anyone? No. No? Okay, Sister Flora, can you lead us in prayer? Sure. This morning? All right. Thank you. I'll wait till he's coming back in. Uh, is he coming back in now? Yeah. That is great for me. Okay. <laughs> you like keeping the chips to yourself, Alex? Doritos. Doritos? All right. Welcome back, Bailey. It's okay. What? <laughs> All right, everyone. Sister Flora is going to lead us in prayer before we begin today. All right. Well, we thank you for um, the safe space here that we're in, and Bless Peter that was here, and everybody here as well, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for each one that is representing their families, Jesus. You know all things, Lord, in your name. Amen. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Sister Flora. Sister Flora, go ahead. Hi, everyone. Before I begin my, my present, short presentation, I'd like to um, hear, uh, I mean, your names. Like, share your names. We'll start with Abby. We all know Abby. I'm Abigail. What grade are you in? Uh, grade 9. Okay. <clears throat> my name's Alex. I'm in grade 9. Okay. So I'm Flora, everybody, and uh, Abby asked me like a few weeks ago to um, share the importance of prayer. And uh, I know like each one of you have probably your experiences of prayer. Um, so I'm just going to start right with prayer. I titled this prayer. Um, when I was a little girl, uh, the importance of prayer for me started when I was probably around six years old. And at the time, like I wasn't a churchgoer or anything, I was just um, impressed to observe an elder that was in my home. And the elder actually held a Bible. And uh, it was black, I remember that, the cover. But I knew that there was something about him when I was like six years old. And I remember that. He just resonated that, that, the, the importance of um, when he prayed. Uh, my mom would call him, or whenever he visited, he would um, he would uh, um, definitely stay for overnight. Um, and during that time, I can see my mom and some other visitors come in into the living room where he was to to pray for them. And it would be whatever need that they were felt impressed to um, have the elder pray for them. So that's my initial start to the importance of prayer. And I have my little notes here. Um, before I you know, go on with the presentation, it's going to be a short presentation of prayer. I also, I, I also work for Yukon government, and um, I'm very blessed to have that job. And I also am very blessed to be here on the traditional lands of um, Kwan Dun First Nations and Tahan Kwachan Council. So it's, that's important to share because you know what? They are, um, they lived here before us. They, um, they're stewards of this land. So it's important to acknowledge them as well. And we thank the Lord for that as well. Um, and uh, so, you know, prayer for me, um, when, when we focus on the Bible, like what is prayer in the Bible? So prayer in the Bible is how believers, Christians of God talk to him. It's how they make their praise and requests known. Scriptures are filled with beautiful examples of people um, crying out to God and asking for his strength, for his guidance, and for healing, and, and much more too. Um, I know that every day I need to um, be prayed up um, because when I pray, I know that I'm talking to um, God, and this encourages me um, through the, throughout the day, even in my workplace, um, as you know, like as a student, 
that you, you, you do feel like that stress and pressure at times with certain assignments and usually at that time when I was in school, um, in college and university, I would definitely pray and ask God to help in um, just to relieve that anxiety um, from, from stress and stuff. So uh, that's, that leads to you know, the purpose why, the importance of um, when we have our time and um, sharing that um, even with others in, in, in home, at home, especially the importance of like other believers that, that do pray is so important. And, uh, and I asked my, my, uh, my mom the importance of prayer at one time and one of the prayers that she knows and you probably all know by heart is Matthew 6, Matthew 6, 9 and 13. And I know that um, Abby has that up there, but it's very simple, it's a very simple prayer. Our Father, we can all like read it together. Our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. And amen. So that there, I've, I've known since I was a little girl. And I'm pretty sure each one of you probably have heard this or, um, or even pray like that prayer yourself. And uh, one of the other um, scriptures that I hold dear to my heart is um, Psalms 139, 23, and 24. And it says here, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way of everlasting. And also you can, like, God knows our hearts. And, and, and scripture talks about how he knows every heart. He knows even how much hairs we have on our head. And as I'm getting older, my hairs are falling. <laughs> I used to have thicker hair, but it, that's what happens when some people age, you, you lose hair. But um, another thing that um, you know, I ask God for is, I get anxiety a lot, so when I pray, I ask God to help me from the, the anxiety to, to relieve that. And, he, and, and God does. He actually has somebody else come to support me, or you know, it could be a song that I'm listening to, and that stress or anxiety you know, um, relieves. Um, it's just like certain things that um, could be someone that a friend is sharing something else with you, and you're like, oh yeah, I can connect with you. So that's the other thing of um, prayer. Like, God leads and guides you throughout your day. And, I, you know, it's so, so important. Um, so one of the things I was going to ask you is, um, you know, like, are, do you guys have any questions, I guess, or comments on anything about um, prayer or any examples or experiences you may have with prayer? As you're eating? <laughs> Where do you can even ask anything that you want to learn more about in mm -hmm. prayer? Yeah. Like things you don't know right now about prayer. And that's okay too. Like I like I said, I just want it was a short just sort short session on um, the importance of for me of, of um, prayer and how the elder taught me how to pray when I was a young girl through just observing. And it's neat because um, some of the prayers that um, I've been a and part of you have a message in the office. with um, family Rico? especially like for example my mother um, she had cancer when she was 65 years old and um, I remember getting that call and I remember my mom talking to me and saying you know Flora like I know I know you pray a lot so I want you to like pray for the situation and um, so I've been living in the Yukon for many years, and my, my family is from Northern Ontario. So it's where all of my family are. And um, when I prayed, I prayed with her, and I know there was a few other people in the room, because when she got that diagnosis, she was actually in the hospital already, um, getting, um, getting the, the, you know, the information that she had, this cancer. Um, so we prayed in the room, and the people that were in the room, we prayed because in scripture it also says like how 
God um, is everywhere. He's um, omniscient. That means he's everywhere, like, because he's a spirit. And, um, and he, I, I really truly believe he touched that situation. And even though my mom went through a lot of, a lot of um, pain and as well as healing, I believe God answered that prayer. Sometimes, you know, we want, when we pray, for, this is me, when I pray, I want it a quick fix. Like, God, you're God, you should, you should heal the situation, like right now, like she's in pain. But no, like, um, God t took it another route where, where it was a slow process, where she did recover eventually. And we, we spent many, many more years with her, whereas before, like, when that diagnosis from the doctor said you only have like a year, we actually had 15 more years with her. So I'm very blessed of that, and I really truly believe that was through prayer. And not just my prayer, but for like, in unity is also powerful with prayer, right? So I just wanted to share that too. And basically that's kind of what I wanted to share. Abby, thank you so much for having me. And, um, and listening to me, appreciate that. Especially in your lunch break. <laughs> It's <laughs> awesome of you guys. <laughs> thank you. I would like to start by saying thank you, Sister Flora, for teaching us that lesson. Here's Aww. a little gift for you. <laughs> You're so sweet, Abby. Thank you. <laughs> and before we end today, I know usually this is the time we go on to games, but could I have everyone stand up because we're going to do two Pacific prayers. The first prayer is going to be for us that God speaks to us and touches us in our situations. And our second prayer is going to be for our family. All right, now let's get into that. Now, could I have everyone lift up their hands right now to God? Jesus, I pray right now that you touch everyone's lives and you speak to them and help them in the situations that they go through and that you just touch them right now. Just keep on praying right now, everyone, if you can. Oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Now, if you have a friend next to you, I'd like you to go ahead and put your hand on them and pray for them. Or anybody next to you can go ahead and put your hand on them and pray for them. Je now, I want you to pray this to your friend right now. Jesus, I pray right now that my friend gets touched, and if they don't have the Holy Ghost, that they get filled with the Holy Ghost right now. Oh, just keep on praying right now, everyone. Now to all the people who have the Holy Ghost, I'd like you to go to someone who you think doesn't have the Holy Ghost, I'd like you to pray for them. Sorry for stealing all of you for giving. And just continue praying. Um,
would like everyone to just pray for your family right now. So just lift up your hands right now and say, God, I pray for my family, that you speak to them and touch their lives right now. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. I'm just going to let you guys do that for a couple more minutes now. Now we're going to do an ending prayer right now. Jesus, thank you for what you've done today. And please help continue to help us through our trials and through our hard times, even through our good times. In Jesus' name we pray and everyone say amen. amen. Now.